हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू फ्री बर्ड्स टू एंड वेलकम टू 75 डे हार्ड जनरेटिव लर्निंग चैनल दिस डे 62 एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू दैट व्हाई वी डोंट यूज द इंट 1 एंड इंट 4 अ प्रिसीजन फॉर्मेट्स फॉर द क्वांटाइजेशन एज़ वेल एंड व्हाई इंट 8 इज द बेटर चॉइस एंड आल्सो हाउ द इंट 8 कैन हैंडल्स अ लार्ज रेंज कैलकुलेशंस बिकॉज़ व्हेन रूट व्हेन आर बिल्डिंग लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल इट हैज टू हैंडल द लार्ज कैलकुलेशंस एज़ वेल सो हाउ इंट 8 handles those large calculations with a specific range of minus 127 to plus 128 okay so we will know about these questions in this video and if you want to know more about the quantization and how it works and how it maintain the accuracy you can watch my uh, last two videos as well the link is in the, in the description so let's get started so the main problem with the low precision formats is that that it range is too smaller and with that small range most of the information get lost or get lost in the clipping process as well okay as you just see on my screen the int 1 with the 1 bit has a range of 0 to 1 and the int 4 has the range of 0 to 15 okay so with the with these two kind of precision formats you can't capture the direction it goes and and how strongly it goes in some kind of direction as well so that's why you don't need to use these kind of quantizations because your most of the information get lost because in the activation functions in the weights our most of the weights are in the negative as well as in the positive direction as well that shows the uh, direction of these kind of weights as well so those things can't be captured in the int1 and int4 uh, precision format so that's why we use the int8 precision formats because that has the range of minus 127 to plus 128 that capture both the direction and the magnitude as well okay so if you see this kind of a graph here that it shows that as you low down your precisions your accuracy drops if, if you low down precision to the int 3 accuracy drops drastically so that's why we don't use the low precision formats under the int 8 as well okay so now now the another question comes as well that how this int 8 will manages out the calculations of the large values if those calculations can goes out of range so when doing the uh, calculations of a particular uh, data type like int 8 we need another structure we need some another kind of data type as well that is called the accumulation data type and with the help of accumulation data type you can handle the large value calculations as well like for int 8 the accumulation uh, data type is int 32 and for fp32 it is the fp32 data type as well and if you are trying to use the int 4 or int 1 the accumulation is int 32 only okay so that's how it manages a large value calculations as well by keeping the small range intact okay so i hope you guys completely understand these two uh, major questions about the quantizations that why we do not use the int1 and int4 and how int8 handles the large calculations as well okay so in our next video i will tell you about the two basic operations of the quantization the first is called the quantized and the second is called the dequantized that are completely used in the quantization process and how it completely works so oh guys if you want to know more about the prompt engineering and uh, data science like language model you can watch my videos on youtube and also reread my blogs on medium we'll meet in our next video thank you guys thank you so much